hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of Torchlight Infinite. Today I am ready to unveil my new and improved Ranger of Glory Ice Cold build. And I gotta say it is in a really good place. I have spent hours and hours and hours testing and fine tuning it to make sure we were ready for this video. Just now, as always, I will cover late, every facet of this build absent. and everything will be timestamped in the description below. If you need to bounce around, let's not waste any time and jump right into this. Starting off with some gameplay. Now, the skills I'm going to be using for this build are Ice Shot, Blink, Aim, Bloodthirst and Compound Potion. And when you watch this, it is going to look a lot like the lightning build I have already made. And by the way, I will link that in the description and at the end of this video, if ice isn't your thing. But what's so great about this build is one, it is going to freeze or chill enemies, including bosses, and it has a kill threshold. What that means is if you crit any enemy that is under or at 8% life, instant death, which is amazing for later on bosses. You will see it as we run through. So likely we'll go through and we'll probably do full two full gameplay runs. Right now, this is tier seven. And as you can see, we are basically just going to one shot. At least these enemies, ev everyone. And you'll see how the ones that don't die are frozen. See that? So if you're looking for raw damage, my lightning build actually does more. But if you're looking for survivability, if you're looking for kill threshold for those eight, uh, those end game runs, this is a much better build. So, a little bit of personal preference, trying to give you some options. And some people just don't like lightning and they like ice better. But it is cool how you can just literally have everyone stand still. It's really nice. Really nice and not terribly expensive to gear. Actually, so far, none of my builds have been expensive to gear. So fast. Anyone else? Hello, High Priest. You are dead. Okay, now watch this. Let's get a Dark Surge going. Ooh, we got a Dark Surge boss. Maybe we'll get lucky and get an edict right here on the screen. Dead. And we did. Edict died. Hmm, last one. Oh, two more. Oh, three more. That was pretty fast. Let's do another one. And we're off. Oh boy. Oh boy. You should be in for a treat now. If there's anyone to fight. If we can get a good rhythm going. And enough enemies. Man, and we got a lot of machines. We can't do them at the same time. Come on. Mm. Nine seconds. All right, we're just gonna let it go. It's fine. Not enough enemies to fight. You dead. All right, close out some gameplay. We will knock out the dark surges. And that is not it. Now that's it. Let me show you how to recreate this build. Starting off with skills. And of course we got to look at our main damage dealer first in I shot. Now what I have supporting I shot is added cold mark critical strike damage increase, elemental impact, and critical strike rating increase. I've done lots of testing and I like it in this version the best way. 
Moving down to Blink, we have cooldown reduction, emergency avoidance, periodic burst, and quick mobility. Now, some people like Blink, some people hate it, and they like blurry steps better. That is personal preference. You could switch it in and out for which one you prefer. I just like being able to teleport around. Moving down to Aim, we have Extended Duration, Bloodbath, and Mania. Moving down to Bloodthirst, we have Extended Duration, Bloodbath, Mania, and Cooldown Reduction. That cooldown reduction here makes it where it takes four seconds and Aim is three, which gets it closer together, because normally Bloodthirst is five seconds. Last but not least, on our active skills, we have Compound Potion with Berserk, Residues, and Cooldown Reduction. Berserk really only works if you have a cooldown, that's why we use potion, okay? Moving down to the passives, all right? And these took forever and ever <laughs> to test, okay? But this is what we ended up on. Cast on crit, we have Thunder Light Field, Fixate, and Overclock. Second one, we have Frigid Domain, Ice Imbue, and Rejuvenate. And last, we have Curse on Hit, Biting Cold, Abyssal Hatred, and Seal Conversion. Now, the one on here that I always really want, okay, is... You go away. Yes, yes, yes. Precise projectiles. I really, really like this. I've done tons of testing, and the cold one is actually better as far as domain, but this is pretty close. Technically, you could use either. Those are the skills. Moving over to the talents for this build, we are level 92. Level 92. Starting with Goddess of Hunting, I will scroll through it slowly so you could see everything that I took. It would take far too long to read every single one. Okay, and back one more time, just in case you want to look at it in reverse. Okay, up here, first one, we have Perception. Second one, we have Impermeance. Now. You can take Rush as well if you want the additional movement speed, okay? Basically, in my preference, damage, speed. You could take either or, they both work great, all right? Moving down to Marksman. We have 40 points into Marksman. And we will start scrolling. Scrolling. Keep going. And we're at the end. And on our way back, scrolling, scrolling. And I did tons of testing with talents as well. I can't even tell you how many different trees and things I threw in, but I ended on those three. At 18 points, you have Galen. And at 36 points, you take close range fire. Now, if you find yourself always at a distance and you're not a close rain fighter person just take the extra projectiles okay i like getting up close and personal so i take close range fire but either or work last but not least ranger okay we have 38 points into ranger ready here we go scrolling mm -mm -mm. all right this is one of my favorite nodes right here. Click. Critical strikes can eliminate an enemy's under 8% life. This is going to make your life so much better with bosses and Ubers and all kinds of scrap. I love this node, right? Just wanted to point out that one. And on our way back. Mm -hmm. Okay, at 18. We have shooting arrows and I wasn't able to really showcase it, but you will do some knockback. Okay. And then at 36, we've got impending. Now, again, if you are somebody that likes to fight at range, you would actually take rapid shots. For me, since I'm always up close and personal, I took impending, but you can switch either or. All right. Those are the talents. Now let's check out the hero traits for this Ranger of Glory. 15, no option. At 32, take top. 50, no option. At 62, take top. 80, take bottom. Okay? As far as skills down here, first one you want is wind projectiles. Okay? Second one you want is cold piercing. 
And third one you want is freeze chance. Freeze chance. And this is what's gave us all that freeze when we were running through the level. That is the hero traits. So now let's check out the gear for our cold Carino. Now there is nothing that is absolutely required. Like you cannot do the build without this item. That being said, this ring right here is so cheap, you could practically get it for free. And what this ring does is 50% physical damage converted to cold. That is the exact same affix that is on Ice Shot. So what that means is 100% of all of your physical damage is converted into cold damage. And that is pretty important. So if you have great, great, great end game gear, you probably won't need this ring. But if you're like me and you're kind of building right now on a budget, get Traveler Ring because you can get it for practically free and it'll help you so much. Okay, we'll go through each item one by one, starting with helmet. Armor. Amulet. Gloves. Belt. Boots. Saw one ring. Second ring. Main hand. Severed wrist. Off hand. Confession. And again, weapons are pretty good, okay? But again, not required. And the rest of my gear, when you look around it, most of it is not very good. That is the gear. Last but not least, let's check out the pets we are using for this build. Now, I wanna be clear, I have invested no money, zero dollars into the pet system. And I'm sure this build could actually be a lot better if you have better pets. That being said, I will take you through the three that I currently have equipped. We've got Drizzle, or I like to call him Mike Wazowski, and that is level four. We then have a level one with the green leaf traveling lizard. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got the ball of thread, and this one is an epic pet at level three, and this is more for survivability. Those are my pets. All right, everyone, that's the build guide. What do you think of my new and improved cold Ranger of Glory? Is there something I missed? Is there something I could do to take this to the next level? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. Really does help the channel for 2022. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 49 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. I have a weekly blog post, weekly podcast, access to the VIP lounge so you can chit chat with me every day, special title for the Discord, and extra wheel spins at the end of the month for custom action RPG merch. Lots of goodies there. Again, first link in the description. And if this cold build wasn't for you, also in the description and linked at the end of this video is my lightning build that I put out last week. So maybe that one, you will like it better. That's all I've got. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.